danger, danger, danger. It's a danger, danger, danger. I'm telling you, it's danger, danger, danger. Yes, a danger. Hydraulic fracturing. We don't want no fracking. Drilling and cracking. From the fractured rock gas extracting. Yes, I'm critical of the chemicals. What are your opinions on fracking? Well, I don't like it. This is Maple Farm uh, and we call it the Community Hub. So this is where we do all our plotting as regards uh, stopping quadrilling in, in the tracks. We want to encourage new people. Uh, we want them to come here and feel that they've got a point of reference. So there's usually someone on duty here during the day <laughs> uh, and they're welcomed in. You know, people travel from all over, not just all over the country, but from all over the... We had someone from Russia here yesterday, for example. Preston New Road, or Little Compton as it's sometimes called, this has got the green light to frack, OK? Uh, Lancashire County Council said no to this. So did every level of local government. They all said no. No, 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 no. Uh, but the government thought better, uh, because obviously they're pro-fracking, so they overruled it. So there's nothing illegal about what they're doing up there. They've got all the permits, uh, all the permissions, and uh, although we're doing our best to slow them down, they are, they, they, what they're doing is perfectly legal. The government overturning um, this decision is just the start of us actually losing our human rights. The people of Lancashire said no, the council said no, and the government overturned it. That's just taking away the right. We had a right to vote, we voted against it, and they just turned it around on us. To driller have a track record here. They, they uh, what we call fracking now, high, high volume fracking, the, the pro frackers will try and say, oh, this has been going on for years. It's absolute nonsense, it certainly hasn't. This is a new process. It's only been tried once in the UK, a place called Priest Hall, near Blackpool, not very far away from here, and it caused earthquakes. I woke up in the middle of the night with my bed shaking and I sat up and I was wondering what I'd just experienced. I was thinking to myself, that must have been an earthquake. We, we stick our bodies in the way of things and then we make our bodies as hard to shift as we can. Sometimes that's with lock-on tubes, sometimes that's with tripods. Uh, one time some guy built some giant bird tables and we put them in the road outside uh, Kirby, um, Kirby Mispitton. They haven't been deployed here yet, but um, that's not outside the bounds of possibility. Then we went on to slow walking, which entails walking in front of lorries. They deemed it unsafe. So then we had to then check it further again. And what we started to do then was what we call locking on at the main gates of the quadrilla site. Some people actually put glue themselves into lock-on devices. I've never done that yet. They managed to get a cutting team. They managed to block the gate off so we can't get in to do the, uh, the lock-ons. So then s some of us have even had to resort to lorry surfing, which means actually getting up on top of a lorry cab so he's not allowed to move. Go on, love. Yeah, you go. yeah see you later. Yeah. <laughs> you bloody diamond. You know, I mean, we're all in trouble. That's why we're here, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean... Um, I have fallen foul of the law on occasions, but um, but the, the trouble with lawful activities is it doesn't necessarily mean they're moral. I mean, let's not forget that Auschwitz was entirely, you know, legal and uh, regulated and everything. It is an important part of our democracy. We are allowed to protest, yeah. and as far as I said, we've tried everything. Yes, you know, none of us want to break the law, but. We're being forced into doing it. Not one of us has ever been... I mean, we've had a couple of assault PC charges, but, I mean, they'll do that. They'll shove you into the road and then char charge you for uh, assaulting them. That's happened a couple of times. But not one of us has ever responded with violence. Me, personally, I've been arrested three times now uh, for, for trying to protect what I believe in. Uh, 
I've been arrested for two lock-ons and one for standing on the curbside, absolutely doing nothing. There's one, uh, there's one young woman, I mean, she's, um, she's not 20 yet, and to see her get knocked over and then just pop back up with a smile on her face and then the next thing she's throwing glitter over her friends and something and it's just, it, it's really wonderful but it's terrible as well that, you know, somebody like that who really should be sort of getting on with other stuff and enjoying life and she's here putting her body in the way of like uh, an industry that's just out to kill us all really. You know, this roadside, it's not really a pleasant place to just come and spend your day. Is it really so? But I have three children and I have, I have a grandson as well. I got now for Christmas a grandson. <laughs> I, have, I have children, I have grandchildren. I, I, I like to see wildlife. There won't be any wildlife when the water's all polluted and everything. Rise, people, rise down here. Rise, open your eyes. Wake up. Rise. We will not stop us, we will keep coming back. We are, we are here until that goes away. If we're gonna save humanity, we need to take responsibility. Start with yourself and family, right here in your own community. Spill our ripples on water globally, it's better on humanity. I'm taking action, yeah. Singing for our children. I'm calling to every nation. Come on, take action now. For unite, take action. Bidi bang 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 bang, come, come, come. Recycle, recycle my people now. Recycle.